Right, welcome back to another reaction. Today we have the history and future of everything. Before we get into this video, I have recently just created a Patreon. This is where you can find videos that are blocked to YouTube. I upload them over there and you get you get a little bit more of a benefit. So if you guys just want to help me making content for this channel, the link is down below in the description to the Patreon. Right, let's jump into this. Let's see what it's about. Let's go, man. Time makes sense in small pieces. Uh -oh. But when you look at huge stretches of time, it's almost impossible to wrap your head right, around Right, is this going to be another confusing one? So, let's start small, with minutes, hours, days. Right. You probably spent the last 24 hours mostly sleeping and working, and you probably wasted How did a good you know? chunk of yesterday on the internet. Days become weeks, weeks become months, and then we have a year. Let's right. look at 2017. France started to train eagles to hunt terrorist drones. A Czech nuclear power plant held a bikini contest to pick their new intern. And people on the internet made a challenge out of eating bleach. You know, the usual really? stuff. Really? That's what further. happened? What a kid born in the first year of the 21st century is 18 years old now. But the century is still young, even if you're not. It was largely shaped by the attacks on 9-11, which led to the war in Afghanistan and the invasion of Iraq. In March 2011, the Syrian civil war began and is still ongoing after seven years. Most of us were born in the 20th century, which had the two most devastating wars in human history and the Cold War. Right. For the first time ever, we could destroy ourselves with nuclear weapons, and we almost did, but we also had a space race and left Earth for the first time. The internet was also invented, which led to memes, but also to Facebook and Twitter. So all in all, we're not sure if this was a good development. <laughs> the average human lives about bad. 79 years, which covers a good chunk of recent history. The oldest living person on Earth is currently Salino Jaramillo, who was born in 1896. Wow. Which means that his birth was closer to Napoleon ruling Europe than to the current day. Only 250 years ago, the Industrial Revolution turned the world into a progress machine. Wait, is this the... the history? Oh wait, this is the history and the future. Okay. Farmers became workers and knowledge became easier to distribute. Around this time, we started the progress that is causing climate change today. Not that long ago, actually. The theory of evolution changed how we saw ourselves and the world we live in. Newton wrote down his theory of gravity. We Wait, how far back distant are we? stars and very close bacteria. The 15th century was very eventful. Columbus's discovery of America and the fall of Constantinople marked the end of the Middle Ages. War was all the rage in the Middle Ages, but the number one killer was disease. The Black Plague killed every third European in just six years. That's crazy. Around 2,000 years ago, we set the arbitrary year one of our calendar that most of the world follows today. But to a Roman, the world was... Wait, most of the world follows today? Why, is there some parts of the world that don't follow the, uh, the calendar, 2001? It was already well, ancient. 2022? The Great Pyramids were constructed 4,500 years ago. So, to a Roman, the pyramids were older than the Romans are to us today. Wow. So long ago that there were still living mammoths on Earth. A lot of history happened before wow. that even. Around 7,000 years ago, humans began writing things down. About 12,000 years ago, human organization exploded. We built our first temple, and around the world, mankind began farming, which enabled the rise of larger communities. Our dominance over planet Earth... After what, like watching this, right? How did we ever come up with the calendar of 2022? You know what I mean? So like 2,000 years ago, some guy was like, you know what? Today's the first day. <laughs> Wait, what? You know, that's like me going right now. You know what? It's year zero. Like, what the fuck? Ready begins here. Homo sapiens sapiens, the modern human, evolved at least 200,000 years ago. 50,000 years ago, the cognitive revolution expanded our minds and innovation. Back then, we shared Earth. It's actually crazy how much, like, we've done in such little time compared to everything. With at least five other human species that either died out or were killed by us. 
At least two million years ago, our ancestors already had control over fire and constructed tools from wood and stone. And six million years ago, the last common ancestors of chimpanzees and humans existed. So this graph is all of human history. Our close Crazy. relative Homo erectus survived ten times longer than we have existed. This tiny part is the human era. We have to zoom in a lot to even see your lifetime. What the Still, all of human history is not that long. 65 million years ago, the age of the dinosaurs ended in an enormous explosion. The dinosaurs ruled the Earth for over 165 million years. Bro, this is too long, man. This is like too many years. Like, I ha bro. What 27 times as long as all humans. That's so long that it means a T-Rex that lived 65 million years ago is closer to us today than to a live Stegosaurus. Dinosaurs in the form of mighty chickens are still around today. Animal life on this planet started 600 million years ago. The earliest animals were fish and other small simple sea creatures, then came insects, then reptiles, and finally around 200 million years ago, mammals joined the party. Life itself began much Mad. further back. There is evidence that it appeared up to 4.1 billion years ago. Holy For shit. For at least 3.5 billion years, life consisted only of single-celled organisms. 4.5 billion years ago, the sun was born from a gigantic imploding gas cloud. 60 million years later, Earth formed. In those early years, frequent how How did Earth just form? Like, what? Comets and asteroids supplied the Earth with large oceans. But as far as the whole universe goes, our solar system is pretty new. 13.75 billion years ago, the universe was born. And about half a billion years later, our own galaxy formed from billions of stars. But what came before the Big Bang? The truth is, Who we knows? don't know, and maybe we never will. Who knows? And there you have it, the past. Now let's take a look at what we know about the future. In roughly one billion years, the sun will be so hot that life on Earth becomes impossible. The huh? death of the sun four billion huh? years later it, marks the end of it how many it's years? Impossible. In roughly one billion years. In one million years. In one million years. So humans, humans are the end of life. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, th this is 4.5 billion years. Wow, we really got the last straw, didn't we? The sun will be so hot one million that years. life on Earth becomes no impossible. Life. The death of the sun four billion years later marks the end of life in the solar system. If we want to have a chance to survive, we need to have ventured to the stars. And what happens after that? In the next 100 billion years, most of the bigger stars around will die. The universe becomes dimmer and dimmer, illuminated only by smaller red We jumped a lot here. <laughs> but they too will eventually burn out and one day, the last star in the universe will die. The universe will turn dark. And at some point, even black holes will evaporate and die. When they do, our universe will reach its final stage, heat death. Nothing changes anymore. The universe is dead. Forever. Now, Cheers. you're feeling I'm going. some pretty weird feelings right now, aren't you? I'm going. We are too. It's only natural. The good news is, this is all far, far away. The only time that actually matters is now. That cute girl or boy you like, ask them out. Aww. Time is That's practical. actually so true, bro. That's so true. Live your fucking life, right? Enjoy it. Have fun. Do what he's saying right now. Just actually do what count. he's saying right now. Really good video. One of the questions. Really, really good video. Enjoy that. Hopefully you guys did as well. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.